Hi, it's Sarah the Gardener, and the question I really want to ask is, where has the summer gone? We've only got two weeks left. Having said that, it's still really hot, and we're actually in drought conditions, which is just as well we have our own water supply, otherwise my garden wouldn't be looking half as good as it does now. Having said that, it is in the downward decline towards the end of the season. But come and have a look. The herb garden is looking a little bare because the dill and the coriander went to seed, but that's okay, I've got some more coming along, it should be alright for the autumn season. I'm so excited with the cukes and melons because look, I have a melon. It's got a long way to go before it's going to be anywhere near edible, but they were saying it's going to be a long hot, you know, into summer, so we should be alright. As for the rest, it's all sort of starting to come to a bit of an end. I've got loads of spaghetti squash, loads and loads, which is really cool. I've had an awesome harvest from the potatoes, and I've just stuck in another sneaky row to try and get capture the la last of the summer warmth to get one more crop. Not a bad crop. We've got heather, summer delight, and red rascal. There's also probably the same again of Jersey Bennies, but we've eaten them. The corn which is always such a fine mark in the landscape because it's so huge. I'm going to harvest it today. I think they're ready. The corn, which is always such a fine mark in the landscape because it's so huge. I'm going to harvest it today. I think they're ready. But today the corn is looking really good. So it's time for it to come out. It'll be a sad day. The leafy greens are still well leafy. I'm letting the asparagus just go to fern and we'll chop down the stalks in probably May, June when the fronds grow yellow. The tomatoes, while yielding prolific amounts of tomatoes for me this year, have been a complete disaster as far as keeping them upright. Um, the wooden stakes I used were a complete Oh, disaster. They just snapped worse than the bamboo canes. I've had to put double stakes in. So there's the wooden one originally and then another metal one in. Because they all fell over in the wind at least twice each. Heartbreaking. But the tomatoes are great. So the tigerella are really prolific. But I much prefer the taste of the tula, which are um, supposed to be a black one, but it's more green than black. But they're still really yummy, so sweet. Gotta try it. Um, there's a load of extra peas for a late crop. I didn't actually plant them, they all came up by themselves when I pulled out the last lot, so I just put them in a row. Waste not, want not. Can you see how dry it is? Look how the ground is cracking. We need rain soon. The zucchini has been slowed by powdery mildew, but they seem to have a second lease of life, so we shall start eating them again. The mini pumpkins also seem to be having a second lease of life, which is really quite cool. So hopefully we'll get an extra crop out of them, provided it doesn't go cold quickly at the end of the season. This is part two of another experiment. I planted a little bit of wheat last year, worked really well as a cover crop, but also worked really well as a mulch. So this year I'm putting it in all the empty beds over the winter. So it'll keep the weeds down, and then I can return it to the soil as a mulch around my plants next summer. The Brussels sprouts are going great guns. Kale, not so good. Lots of infestations this year. I'm growing kohlrabi. I've never grown it before. I hope it tastes nice. All sorts of bits and pieces in here, Romanesco and broccoli, some more kale. So our winter crops started already, which is good. The salad crops are just amazing and they taste so good. Oh, I have to show you, these are seriously the best carrots I have ever grown. Here, let's just pull one out for you. Uh, maybe not that one. Oh, it 
it's not too bad. Hang on, let me try another one. Let me try another one. Oh! Okay, so most of them haven't been forked. But you left have to worth them. Most of them look like shop-bought carrots. Honestly. My peppers and chilies are just... Oh, prolific. Absolutely prolific. I'm so excited. Yeah, we've got some red ones in there I'll be harvesting today. So much coming on. I've got eggplant. See, eggplant. These are the long, skinny ones. So they're just getting there. And, oh, it's just, I'm so proud of my crop. Beans, seriously, I honestly don't know why I grow beans because we don't like them all that much. But what I have is over here is some kidney beans. So I'm just waiting for them to dry on the plant and then I can harvest them and we can make chili con carne. As for the rest, mm, not really sure what I'm going to do with those. Hmm. I have. I have an okra flower, but the plant on its hole is really disappointing, so I'm going to have to work on that next year. It's really little. Oh, is that a caterpillar? You little bugger. You can die. That's okay, he's all gone. My popcorn got savaged by some feral creature. Goodness knows what. So I've put a net around it and the rest of them seem to be safe. So hopefully should get a good crop of popcorn. And peanuts. I am growing peanuts. Really excited about that. Oh and chickpeas. Although having said that the crop itself, I mean seriously, I don't imagine we're going to get too much hummus out of this. The strawberries are still doing they're actually still giving us fruit, which is quite strange at this time of year. So, yeah, um, oh, they're so much sweeter at this time of year as well, because there's less water about, so the flavours are more concentrated. <gasps> they are amazing. As for the raspberries, I think I'll have a better crop next year because I know what I'm doing. The Jerusalem artichoke suffered really badly with the wind. It's terrible. I don't even want to show you. Don't look. Look away. Look away. And my Cape gooseberries are doing amazing. And they are so yum. I love them. I have sweet potato. And so this is the garden. With two weeks left of summer. It's not looking too bad. And it's given us heaps of produce. Thanks for watching.